Ernie. When you say Ernie in this city, every baseball fan, north side or south side, knows Ernie is Banks. Maybe you saw him play when Wrigley was half full in the mid-60s, and you could slam the old wooden seats in rhythm and chant, Come on, Ernie! Maybe you watched him after school on WGN-TV, and your mom would say, Don't you have homework? And you would answer in the only way possible. No. Because your dad was at work, and when he came home, he might ask, How'd Ernie do? And you could try to do your best Jack Brickhouse. There's a high fly, deep to left. Miller and Wynn. Both back, back, back! It's a home run for Banks and a boy Ernie! This was a time when your favorite player spent his career with one team. Ernie played all 19 seasons with the Chicago Cubs, so he became part of the family conversation. The way fathers and their kids can rise above the normal conflict and tension with a simple question. How'd Ernie do? That's it! That's way back there! Back! During the prime of Willie Mays and Hank Aaron, Ernie won back-to-back National League MVP awards in 1958 and 1959. On May 12, 1970, he became only the ninth player in Major League history to hit 500 home runs. Ernie's fingers were fluttering on the bat when Pat Jarvis snuck a fastball on the inside corner. That's a fly ball, beat the left, back, back, that's it, that's it! Number 500, a line drive shot into the seats and left. The ball tossed to the bullpen. Everybody on your feet, this is it. Whee! The front page headline on May 13, 1970 in the Tribune read, Oh, happy day, Banks hits 500. Our romance with sports heroes is a complicated thing. Ernie Banks passed away on January 23rd, 2015, and we all noted the usual ironies. Another man who loved the Cubs as much as anyone ever has was born, grew up, and died without seeing the Cubs win the World Series. Ernie Banks would never see the new Wrigley Field. He never saw the young and dangerous 2015 Cubs with number 14 patches on their uniforms. And like many generations, he never saw the Cubs go all the way. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! But if we honor Ernie Banks, we cannot be bitter. Ernie chose not to face his life with bitterness or regret. He didn't blame fate or curses. Ernie Banks faced this life with a smile and a song in his heart. Hey, hey, holy mackerel, no doubt about it, the Cubs are on their way. There he is, a rookie who will only know day baseball in Chicago. He's warming up at shortstop, lithe, slender, a body that belies his prodigious power, and he stands out. Not for his grace in the middle of the field, not for his sheer love of the game, not for the promise of his Hall of Fame career, not for a disposition sunnier than the brightest day at Wrigley Field. He stands out because he is the only black man in a Chicago Cubs uniform. And he will go on the road as a Major League Baseball player and restaurants and hotels will tell him, we don't serve your kind. Just think, if he had been born just 10 years earlier, we never would have heard. We got the set in. Sunshine, fresh air, we got the team behind us, so let's play too. Why do we love the Cubs so much? Ernie, right now, I'm looking at you. <laughs>